My name is Hamid Ziyadeh from EPFL Middle East. Now we are at UNHCR Geneva where I did my master project. The objective of my project is to bring the renewable energies, innovations and technologies inside refugee camps for refugees and the humanitarian sector. The access to energy inside refugee camps is very vital to refugees. It's related to all aspects of the life, to education, to livelihood, to gender-based violence and all other aspects inside refugee camps. Nowadays, most of the camps are relying on diesel generation. But the diesel generation is highly impacting the environment. We have a high cost. In addition to the burden of transporting the fuel to the refugee camps, which are far away from big cities. The first step of my project was to build a model to be really able to identify what are the power budget inside our camp and translate it to an energy hourly consumption pattern. After determining the, the power budget and the energy consumption of the camp, we can identify the most suitable and affordable renewable energy solution. Uh, basically, the solar energy is one of the most promising renewable energy forms because unfortunately all the refugee or the bulk of refugee situations are in Africa where we have a good solar irradiation. Small scale solutions have been implemented inside the refugee camps, like this portable solar lantern with the solar panel. The main aim of the project was to, to, to look into more innovative solutions on a larger scale and to incorporate, let's say, this flexible solar panel on a tent. Smart refugee camp is, with the analogy of a smart building, will manage itself energy-wise, it will be able to control the generation, the uh, storage, and the demand scheme inside our camp. Actually, the, the first challenge was to, to really understand the, the mechanism of the humanitarian sector and what are the different perspectives and different angles, different problems that you should look into. Not only the technical aspect of your problem, but also the other, like the gender base, the protection, the security of the refugees, and so on. I suggested a project for the UNHCR Environment Unit and they accepted it and I joined UNHCR for, for accomplishing my thesis.